is kind of cool. This is like a, a Dune concept album, which is one of my favorite books. So I just wanted to like, you know, make an album that I thought would sound like Dune. What's good, everyone? Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, wherever you are. My name is Kelly, aka Kelly's Jams, and today we're back with another album reaction video. It's about time that we've done another one of these. Most of these album reaction videos that I have been doing have been requested by you guys. So thank you so much for sending me them because sometimes I do my research and I'm like, I don't know what's good or bad sometimes. So it's just sometimes hard to pick an album. So thank you all so much for doing the work for me. <laughs> so you might have heard of this artist. Her name is Grimes. In particular, this specific subscriber or listener, whoever, requested these albums from her. This person told me that we should listen to either Grimes's Getty Primes, Halifaxa, or Visions. Now, here's the thing. We obviously can't listen to all three because it's going to be an extremely long video. And on top of that, I have listened to Visions before, which I really liked that album. I actually have it on CD. So it's either Getty Primes or Halifaxa. So I'm thinking to myself, let's go in order. Let's listen to Getty Primes first. And then if I do like this album, then maybe we'll listen to Halifaxa after. Just a thought. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking we should do. Um, and if you guys have any other recommendations for Grimes or any other artists similar, please let me know in the comments because as I said, it really helps me a lot <laughs> with research. Claire Elise Butcher, also known as Grimes, was born on March 17, 1988, and started her career by writing songs in 2007. She also illustrates the visual art for her album covers, which are influenced by the work in comics and in Japanese manga. Um, Butcher's music has also received countless nominations and awards, and her internet presence is also known all over the world. She's been doing music for a very long time, so I'm really excited to listen to Getty Primes, kind of like the genesis of her work. The former artist had a concept album inspired by the novel series Dune, which I love that series so much. <laughs> I'm sure you could probably find this album on all streaming platforms, as I've said in other prior uh, reaction videos. So yeah, without further ado, let's do it. I really like the sound of this. Super vibey. Like 
so far, I get, I get why there's a lot of sounds that sounds like Dune. Like if you could picture the Dune franchise, this is very similar. That was a solid that was a solid one. I like that one. sound sorry if i sound so weird but like oh, 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 oh my god that's so good <sniffs> production work production is working and this song is serving so i have to say I was hearing things, but that was gorgeous. like a transition to the next half of it like next half of the album i'm curious whoa hello Deadass, that was one of the coolest songs I've ever heard in my life. I, that might be my favorite. <laughs> um, I think we have a favorite here, folks, <laughs> because like, I, I don't even, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> that was hauntingly beautiful. I, I think I have a thing for like spooky 
songs, like very spooky instrumental stuff, especially when it comes to experimental pop. Um, pure poetry. That was like... That was absolutely insane. I highly recommend you listen to that song with headphones. You will have the best experience of your entire life. like a giant bee drop's gonna happen. Oh, what's happening? but that's actually like what it's supposed to sound like and I really like that. Whoa, that was cool. Hey, I'm Grimes, and I'm going to break down every album in my career. This album was insane. Um, I, I don't even know where to start or how I feel about it. It's just, 
it's everywhere. <laughs> Long story short, this album is everywhere. And if you're into an experimental vibe where you wanna feel like you're in a trance or if you wanna kinda of get yourself into a zone, highly recommend you listen to this album. With my ranking personally, I'm gonna give this album an eight out of 10 and here's why. I loved this album, I did, um, but because this is her first album, I feel like it, it slowly is going to get better with her albums because I've listened to her newer ones and it's, I think it's a lot better than her older stuff. I feel like this is the first stages of her being experimental with her sound. So there was like a couple songs where I felt like, okay, I would, I would understand why somebody would get tired of this or why this specific loop might be annoying to someone. You know what I mean? I, I hope that makes sense. It's not that I'm here to trash her. I think that this album was really good and she did a really good job with the vocals and the sounds and everything, but I feel like this is the starting point and over time it's going to build and get better. So that's my ranking of that. Here are my top five. So number five has to be Beast Infection because I did not expect those sounds to come out. Um, I thought Beast Infection was gonna be like super heavy and intense, but in reality, it was more um, slow build and a burn. Caladan is number four. I liked the title name a lot, and I thought it was a good intro to introduce her music in general. I just, number three is Gambang, um, just because I thought it was a nice interlude towards the last four tracks of the album. And it just felt very vintage and I do like vintage sounds a lot and the production behind it was really interesting. So that's why I think it should be number three. Number two is Zol Face Dancer. That whole song was a vibe. I could see myself shaking my ass in a club to that song. <laughs> like really vibey, just kind of gets you in the zone. Like just, just a good sound, period. But my number one favorite has to be Venus and Flares because that shit was so fucking spooky and I did not expect that. And it was really well done. And the whole vibe of it, I could see why it sounded like you were like on a planet in Venus or if you were in a mysterious island or a mysterious place, it just felt like that. I feel like she really executed that concept perfectly. That's all I have to say with this reaction video. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. Because I liked this album, we're probably gonna listen to Halfaxa at some point, probably not like soon, but at some point we will. I hope you all have a great weekend. I will see you all next week. Um, stay tuned for the next album reaction video with Grimes and some other videos I have coming along the way. And yeah, take good care of yourselves, please and thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.